how are you? And, and then you have to say it in Tagalog. So he said, okay, what should I say? He said, halikan mo ako, iniibig kita. And uh, then he told me that, and I said, do you know what you're saying? Yeah. Good evening, and, uh, how you? and how are you? I started laughing, you know, because you know, that's not what it meant, you know. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means I love you. And Halikan Mako means kiss me. <laughs> Are you sure he did not know that? He didn't know that. He, he didn't know that because he was just, you know, and I said, so I told him, I said, oh my gosh, I cannot believe what Mokaka told me. This is what I need to tell you and all that. Because the doctor was our father's friend. So we call him Hasmukaka. Yes, Mokaka. He, he just said Halikamar. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so from there, we moved back now to... Uh, the end of, almost end of 1981, so we got married the 31st, 1981. And uh, let me just tell you, during all these health trials of Niraj, um, Kalpana and Rajan were there all the time. So I met Rajan and Kalpana at that time. And Rajan was always there for Niraj. He treated Niraj like his younger brother. And um, To this day. <coughs> yeah, to this day. No, no, no. We have a partner. <laughs> Partners in crime. And also, through that, in crime. through that too, Kalpana was two weeks after having Sujay, drove from Florida to Dallas wow, wow. because they needed a car to move around in, in Dallas at that time with car rentals and all that. So we were 26 know. years old. We didn't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> and Sujay was 12 days old and we took him, he yeah. came with us. And so I met Sujay before any of you met him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the family, I, I met him. Mm. And then I met him a few months, even before we got married, I met Sujay. He was nine months old, that's when he started to walk. I changed his diet word. <laughs> <laughs> And Jing was the strictest nurse I would have ever met. <laughs> oh my God! I said, yes. and I, I was I used to like shudder before going to see Neeraj because here is this nurse who is watching like a. No, because you know, to us, uh, when you are in the ICU, you have to be very strict because yes. our goal. Yeah, you have to. Yes. You have to goal is to make take care of these patients and we make sure that we give them medications on time, that they do what we are there supposed to do and all that. And families, Asian families, disrupt that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jing was an excellent nurse. But when Neeraj decided to marry her, I said, this is a very strict nurse. <laughs> and she's a great sister-in-law. And as the kids have mentioned, we have a bit with a lot of blessings from God, we have a wonderful family, and uh, that's what it is. Uh -huh. So, uh, that's why, uh, you know, there's a, to, uh, you know, people must be wondering, you know, how did this marriage su survive this long? 33 years is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I know some of you have been married longer, but for, uh, for uh, uh, intermarriage, you know, it is, it is uh, there's a lot more bumps you know, more ups and downs. You really have to um, adjust. It really takes a lot of adjustment to be able to do it. And uh, through all these ups and downs, uh, we survived. <laughs> and you had Swamiji. And uh, we had Swamiji. Uh, let me tell you about Swamiji when he came, first coming to the house, and Kapana told me that he's coming, and I said, what should I feed him? You know, and Kapana said, I'll make your lumpias and your pansi. This is noodles and uh, spring rolls. So, but you know, he's vegetarian, so I made that for Swamiji, and Swamiji came. Sanji was at that time very little, a few months old, and Nisha was uh, two, three, around there. So that's why Swamiji is very special to me, mm. because, of, because of that, you know. First house he came to in Dallas when he came was, was ours. And he loved your food. And he loved the food, and he said, oh my God, you cook so much, I only eat. I said, it's okay, Swamiji, you know, you're coming, I don't know, but, you know, this is what I made. So, <clears throat> and, uh, and also, you know, we love him, and thank you all uh, for coming. I don't know, I think I have 
something else I wanted to say, but oh, I want to thank my sisters. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. True. They surprised me on Friday. I was going to meet Nisha at the airport. She was coming back from Seattle early, but then two these two Asian ladies show up. Said, one was waving at me, and I said, who is this Asian lady? What's my sister? What's my sister? And I have a cousin here, too, who lives locally, you know. And who else? I think that's it. And my... Uh, and... Uh, we have a friend, very special friend of, of ours from Dallas who came, flew all the way from, and, and our friend from Austin. We are very honored, and then all the local friends. And, and we have our niece's husband, Anand oh, is here. Where is Anand? Yeah, yeah. Right there. And Anand is here from India all the way, and uh, he was visiting here. Now, Anand, uh, I have to say a little bit about Jing sisters and family. Uh, Saki, Sita, and Tessie. Uh, we flew to Philippines for Jing's mom's 90th birthday party. And we were the Indian family in Philippines, and we had such a wonderful time. And uh, that brought us even closer. And thank you so much for flying all this way. Tejas and Jayashri, we have been friends from childhood, and they are like family to us, and they are here. Mom, whose speech is this? No, no, no. <laughs> and Anand, and Anand. Anand, he was born and raised in London. He's a born and raised in London guy. He married our niece and lived in India, and now he has come here to visit us, which is very special. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, in, in the interest of time, I think that's all I have to say. If you have any further questions, I'm around. <laughs> If you want details, I'll give you details. <laughs> okay, thank you. So if there's one thing that you didn't know about our family before, now you know how verbose we are. We will keep you here for another hour if we could. But we know you're probably hungry and you want to hear some words from Dad. So, Dad. <laughs> Mom, you can just stand next to him if you have things to add. No, I don't. <laughs> Everybody in this family was supposed to speak. I was the only one not included. <laughs> so I, my choice, my choice. So I figured, oh my god, I think I have a few things to say. <laughs> so you'll make a cameo Jing. and everyone will come back. <laughs> You stand here. Thank you, kids, for roasting me. I appreciate it. Uh, it is wonderful, to be really wonderful, when our Suge grins and tells me that I'm the second dad, as he's always maintained. You're my second dad, too. And <laughs> second mom is up there also. <laughs> you know, it is very, very good to see all of you. Each one of you is precious to us, and each one of you we have connected with over the years and spent such great time together. I've done so many wonderful things together with all of you that I feel privileged that all of you are with me, with us today. The Lord, as I was thinking about it, I said, what will make this day a good day? I said, besides you all showing up, besides the pain cooking a gorgeous, gorgeous meal, which she always does, it will be a gorgeous day too. <laughs> and it has turned out to be all that. That if you look around you, there isn't, it's not raining, and we had, we had pouring rains, which we badly needed, of course, but we don't have that. But I'm so happy that you are here. Look at this event. Am I not very privileged that I have a sister, a brother-in-law, and all of you. And the wife. And the wife. the punchline. Wrong <laughs> sequence. I know. Punchline. Now, you remember what uh, Sanjeev said about Nisha, that because Nisha was speaking for me, I did not need to speak. 
So similarly. <laughs> In that same way, and I got to tell you, all of you have known me, all of you have worked where we have seen, you have seen Bane at my place. Now, it's very hard for us siblings, Mayur, Mini, myself, to have ever called her Kalpana. I don't remember it because we have always addressed her as Bane, because she is the eldest, she's acted like the eldest, she's been the eldest, and I just want to tell you, Bane, you have been the great elder of our families. You share your love, your straightforward, and your wisdom, Ben. Issues land up on your doorsteps which don't necessarily belong on your plate, which you lovingly, skillfully handle them, and all of them, Ben, and with great adroitness. Thank you. No, Ben, love you. <laughs> you know, it, it is, you know, you're talking about me, and I just thought that I was a very naughty boy. We know um, that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not <one>. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know, in that being naughty, I just wanted to, I remember a couple of quick things. In school, it was very, very difficult for me to study. I just, maybe it was, I just didn't full focus. And it was even more noticeable to the principals who said that how come Kalpana, who is such a very bright individual, who is such a studied individual, how can she do so well and this guy not do? <laughs> I was hauled up in front of the class. I was hauled up in front of, uh, you know, I was in teachers. I was kneeling down and all that. <laughs> and it was Dane who was my savior. Because when she would show up, everybody would start smiling. <laughs> and Kalpana would say, yes, this is my brother. And that way, that's a way that I would escape home. <laughs> she has taken care of me. And she's done so almost eternally, it would seem. And, uh, you know, what can I say? I can just tell you that as a brother, I'm very privileged to have a sister like this. Thank you again, Bim. You know, she protects me. She takes care of me. She takes care of my son. She takes care of the clan. She takes care of Jane. She takes care of Nisha. She takes care of Sanjeev and Mayur and Mini and all our families together. So And they take care of me too and us. <laughs> so look at it this way. She and she connived, she took care of it and said, Neera, don't you think you should move to California one day? <laughs> and I said, uh, Ben, I would love California. It's a gorgeous place. I love the nature. I love everything around. And I need to move one day. She said, OK. She registered it and kept it at the back of her mind. Now, let me just, before I shift into coming from Dallas, Ben's friends became my friends. We could, well, we grew up. We grew closer together, so close that we would share just about everything in terms of what was happening in our lives and what happened with our parents and everything around. Her friends became my friends. My friends became her friends. The friends and their families became all our friends. And it's in that respect, I got to recognize my buddy, Tejas. Mm. Dane's very dear friend in college was, is, Ulka. Ulka had a brother, Tejas, and Tejas and I met because of Ulka. And it is funny. One thing leads to the other, to the third, to the fourth, and Tejas is here from Austin. Jashri is here, his wife, and it is so, so very, very good that our relationships continue, not only in one single direction, but they grow in multiple directions. The addition of Rajan totally changed our lives. Rajan is a brother-in-law. That is, that I'm very, very fortunate to have. You know, he told me first, he said, Neeraj, please don't call me Rajan Bhai, because I used to call him Rajan Bhai. I said, how do I address a Banevi except Rajan Bhai? And he said, no. Neeraj, Call me only Rajan, and that's the way it should be. I'm telling you, 
that it's been so many years. He has been with me. He has been the rock that I can tell you that as a friend, as a brother, he has always been there for me. I'm delighted, honored, and very, very proud and happy to be your son. Thank you. <laughs> He has been a friend. Because of what he said to me about Rajan and Rajan Bhai, I think that increased our closeness. The closeness becomes where I talk to him about issues that are beyond the normal issues that families would share. We talk as friends, we talk to each other as just about everything. And you know how close our families are. And Sujay was this light that came into our life. He's the eldest of the four, but the four of the kids who are here. Nobody else who's out there. I believe that Suj and I have a special bond. He was. He has been with me. To, through my very, very tough times. And he didn't even know it. The baby, Sujay, has grown up to be such a fine person, and he's still the same. Suj, I love you, your mommy loves you, and we all love, and the example that you set as an elder brother is something that I would cherish to have I would love to have, love you to continue to bless the other kids in the clan. I wish you were my younger brother. <laughs> I would have been loving it. Thank you. I I met Jane. Jane told you about the story of how I met her. Jane has been the rock of my life. As she told you, she thrown my lines, I thought. Because even look at the karmic connection that I would not respond to any other person but her. And that was when I was in a coma. Now, if you tell me if that's not connection, Lord only knows what it is. God's calling. God's calling. God's calling. So, Jing turned out to be. My father said to me, he says, Neeraj, you are taking Jing out on a date? I said, I didn't know the word date, but I guess it was. <laughs> I said, we are going for a movie. <laughs> So I said, oh. Your dad knew that. <laughs> so he says, son, do you know that you are supposed to pay and take care of the lady? I said, okay. Do you have money? I said, I don't. Twenty dollars. And he said, dad, take care of Son, take care of I think it is important that you do a good job. <laughs> then, Papa, Mommy, looked up to Jane, as she has always been. <coughs> so when I took the next step of asking her hand in marriage, I think they were delighted that they knew the girl. It was as if the families had connected before. And I was so blessed, not only because Jane came into my life, but I was to realize that I thought that a nine-member family that I grew up in in Mumbai was big. But she has a bigger family. <laughs> Ma, Sita, Soki, my three brother-in-laws who are not here, but who are a big part. My sister-in-laws from them. We are a huge clan out there too. And Ma has looked up to me as she says that I'm her favorite son-in-law. <laughs> and then she winks and she says as I'm the only one. <laughs> Ma took care of me. Ma was there, in fact, last week, or two days back, Friday, she calls me up, and she sings for me at the age of 92, a happy birthday song. Wow. Ma, 
Here is my love to you. Here is Ba who is blessing us for all the good things that have happened to us. I just want to tell you very quickly, because this thing is about my life, it would seem, that as I pursued Jing after my graduation, it was only weeks or months, a few months, and we were married by the end of the year. I moved in summer, late summer. I moved to Dallas, and in a couple of months, Rajan came by, and I said, Rajan, I don't know if I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. He says, well, I don't know. What do you want me to tell when I go to India? <laughs> I said, I'm not sure. I surprised him and the rest of the clan by proposing to Jane and telling her, Jane, let's go and have a medical checkup. And she said, why? What in the world is going on? I said, no, they require a medical test. They require a blood test before you get married. So she says, so what are you saying? Are you proposing? <laughs> That's how romantic he is. That's how romantic he is. <laughs> Dad calls her. Dad calls Jing, the Florence Nightingale of our family. Mommy blessed us. Nisha blessed us with her presence in 1985 and Sanjeev in 1988. Now the funny thing is, 1988 was a very lucky year for both Bain and me. We had Rahul in 1988. That is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it was so lucky that he was he came in March. February. Now. February. <laughs> <laughs> Sujay was March. Yeah. So when Rahul came in February, Jing was also expecting in Dallas. So Bain calls me up. I call her Bain up and I say, Bain, I want to tell you good news. We got a boy. She started crying. I said, Bain, why are you crying? <laughs> she said, well, you know, I did not want me to have two sons and you to have two daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Let me share with you just a small story about how we shifted from Dallas. Dallas is very precious to me. My dearest friends are there. But you all have made me a part of you, me a part of you, you a part of me. Look at it that when Rajan called up Jing and said, Jing, I would like you to move to California. And she said, no, I don't know if, I'm, uh, if we are willing to move. And we've got a great life here, and we've got everything going for us here, and why should we move? But anyway, Rajan being Rajan, he was able to convince Jane that it was time to move. And we shifted from Dallas to California. Look at it. It has been, look around, all of you, are the part of our dearest part of our life. And I can tell each one, and I can look at each one in the eye, and of all the good times and the family times that we have had together. It is absolutely a delight, honor, that I look up to you, I care, and all I can tell you is, thank you for being a part of my life. My cousin is here too. My cousin, Chirag and Shefali, my Bhavi are here. My Chirag, Chirag's dad and my father were the best of friends. They were cousins, but they were more than cousins, they were friends. Chirag and Shefali have continued that with us, where we feel even closer, where we say, Chirag, Shefali, where are you? How come you were not there at Diwali? I have to complain. But they are right here. And of course, we just talked about Anand. Anand, welcome to California. Welcome, son, to the family and the clan as you join with the whole family, your family, with ours. The clan is getting bigger in Texas. The clan is getting bigger in California even more so. So we look forward to welcoming all of you together at the end of this month.
Madhu, where are you? <laughs> Madhu, Madhu is visiting us from Dallas, Texas. Madhu is a very, very dear person. Shekhar and I started the Asian Coalition back in 1984 together. Thank you for coming, Madhu. Appreciate it. To all of you again, friends who are here and who are not here, I'm deeply honored, humbled with your love, trust, and friendship over all these years. I love you very much from Jing and me, and Nishan Sanji, and Rajan and Kalpana, and Suja and Rahul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. That only took, how long was that? 41 minutes? Something like that? So as guests, um, your obligations are three things. To listen to us, which you've done. <laughs> Laugh at all of our jokes, which you've also done. And is also to enjoy all the food that we have for you. So lunch is next. Thank you so much for coming. It means so much to all of us. And um, we hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.